So I actually did drill a hole. You can't see it from this vantage point. It's right over here where my hands are. And I have to drill another hole on top. This hole on the bottom is three inches. I uh, drilled it from the first floor up. I would say about four or five inches of wood I had to get through. So for this part of the drilling, I'm gonna do it from the top here, but I need to make sure it's aligned correctly with the bottom hole. I would advise you if you're doing this, um, drilling never ever try to drill um, with the shower wall right above where you need to put the hole through unfortunately in my case it happened this way and I just have to work through this you know assuming this is not here if you were doing it I would say that you want to drill a hole down to the first floor from an open space straight down or the other side which is also open for me straight down and then just route your pipes from this shower wall to the drain location on either side you know which is the easiest way to do it but in my case I have to do a lot more work to get it accurate so on the top of the shower wall here I'm not going with a three inch hole I'm going with a three and five eighths and the reason I want to actually do that is because when I drill the hole, if there's a slight error in my position, I'll still be able to run the pipe down with that error through the two holes down into the first floor. My eventual goal is to get it into the basement, but I'm going to show you how to drill this hole, but to do that, I'm going to have to take a few measurements. I'm going to measure the location of this hole and kind of translate it based on the, on the edges here on both sides. I'm going to translate that position to here and get an approximate location of where it should be. And you have to do some math, you know. Uh, basically what I do uh, to make it real easy is actually take a steel rule. I make a mark, I put this down and make a mark on the bottom there. And I do the same thing on the other side, you know, I put it straight down and make a mark. So that gives me the position of this piece of wood, uh, both these sides of wood with respect to this surface. And then any measurements I do here I want to keep it keep the drilling point to the center of this wood i can measure the point here to the center of this hole and kind of translate it up here so if i did shift the hole that i drilled here i thought i marked it correctly but i may have shifted it when i translate it up here it may be slightly offset from the center this is the center right here it may be offset this way or that way like i said don't do what i'm doing this is something again the first time i'm doing this and it's a mistake I'm learning from, but I have to work with this. But in your case, if you're actually doing the same type of work, I would highly recommend you move the drain pipe location on the second floor to the first floor to uh, a location away from the shower wall. Um, I could have done one more thing, you know, I could have put the shower wall in later. But if I did that, some of my other calculations would go, you know, I wouldn't know where to put the drain in from the shower wall. So I decided to mount the shower wall where I think it should go. And then I'm going from there. But, you know, there are different ways you can um, tackle the same plumbing project. I would advise you, if you're not sure of what you're doing, let a plumber or someone who's done this before handle it. You can see here that I have piping right underneath the shower wall and floor. You want to avoid doing this because you have the joists here, you have the floor here, you have nails going in through the joists. When you want to drill a hole going from one side to the other, you have to make sure you clear the nails that are sticking through this floor into the joists. The best thing to do is to try to position your drain lines so it's an open space where you don't have any flooring right above the joists. If you want to go from one side of the joists to the other, you want to make sure the floor is clear. I was kind of forced into some issues that prevented me from, you know, actually coming out here and routing the lines here and going back to where I needed to go. I had to actually make sure that I was clearing the nails that were going through the joists. If I don't do that, I will destroy my drill, I will get hurt. My positioning of the drill, I'm gonna show you 
uh, real quick how I was holding the drill in these uh, in these positions. It was not the best ergonomic uh, thing to do. Uh, I'm going to try and show you how I was holding this. I had to kind of hold it like this and drill the hole, which is not the best way. It's it's pretty difficult, and I got this done, but. It was probably the most challenging and at the same time I had to make sure I wasn't hitting any nails there. Let me show you a tip that I use to position hold centers. I want to find out where the center of this is, but you see what the problem is, right? There's a gap, there's probably a 6 inch to 7 inch gap between the sanitary teeth and this uh, stud here. So I take a triangle, put it right up against the uh, sanitary tee, barely touching it, okay? And the sanitary tee will move, so you gotta be careful, you know? And then you draw a line on the inside to show you what the border is. You need to find the center, so you need to find the border of where the sanitary tee O is. You do the same thing on this side, and then you draw a straight line here too. So now you can take the center of these two and then you would have to draw another line down here. Try to make it as straight as possible. You know, you want to be at right angles. You draw a line there and you touch it on top and then draw another line. You'll get the center of where you need to drill. You always have to drill an oversized hole. If it's a two inch pipe, you drill a three inch hole. I need to drill two and a half inch hole because it's a one and a half inch pipe. You need a right angle drill for any kind of plumbing work. There are many used ones out there on the market. 